so we can use the positioning tool to select the front panel objects we want to group and lock together we can click the reorder button on the toolbar and select group or lock from the pull down menu The grouped objects maintain their relative arrangement and size when we use the positioning tool to move or resize them. Locked objects maintain their position on the front panel, meaning we cannot move them. They are immovable. We cannot delete individual objects that are grouped. I'm pressing now the delete key and the whole object whole group is gone control Z and if we go to the block diagram select the object and press delete nothing is happening so we cannot delete individual objects that are grouped from the front panel or block diagram until we ungroup them and then we can select individual object and delete them control Z we cannot delete locked objects from the front panel and I cannot even select them so if we go to the block diagram and this path was locked and I now press the delete key nothing is happening it, it just unselects so we cannot delete locked objects from the front panel or a block diagram until we unlock them we can't even select the whole group uh, the locked objects and even if I press delete key only the highlight they are unhighlighted and nothing happens so now if we unlock them then we can select them and delete them undo So let's have a third group and select them and group them and lock them. So if we set objects to be grouped and locked at the same time 
we must ungroup and unlock them before we can delete them from the front panel or block diagram. So if I try to select these objects, I can't. And if I go to block diagram and try to delete this knob, that can't be done either. So even if I select the whole group and press delete key, nothing happens. Only the highlight, highlighted group is unhighted, unhighlighted. So if we select them and then I unlock them, even then the individual items cannot be deleted. If I press delete, nothing happens. So I have to now ungroup them as well and only then the individual items can be selected and deleted. Undo. So the tools other than the positioning tool uh, work normally with grouped or locked objects. So let's again group and lock them as well. And now let's try to change the text which we can. Let's try the right click menu which operates. Let's try the move the panel. Let's try to change the color and we can do that. So to group, ungroup, lock or unlock front panel objects, we can select the the objects with the positioning tool by dragging an area around the objects or we can hold down the shift key and then while clicking each object. But if the if the objects are locked then if we try to shift click then we can't do that. We cannot use the shift click method to select objects that are locked. So after selecting the objects, we can go to the reorder button and we can select group, ungroup, lock and unlock from the pull down menu. We can set the objects to be grouped as you can see from ungroup command now being uh, available and locked as you can judge from the unlock command now being available. So we can uh, set objects to be grouped and locked at the same time.
when we group overlapping or layered objects the objects that we select to group move to the same layer the foremost object in the group occupies when we group when we select an object that is part of a group the group is highlighted with a yellow and black dotted line when we select a locked object it is highlighted with a gray and black dotted line when we select objects that are grouped and locked the group is highlighted with a gray and a black dotted line same as the locked objects to change the relative arrangement of groups within the group we can select ungroup rearrange the objects and then select group again